Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, season 47, and this is war number two, and we're going up against an alliance called the Commander. All right, let's see, who did they ban? Ghost, Kingpin, oh, and they banned OG Iron Man. I have a feeling that they're planning to do a lot of uh, defenders that are global. All right, let's uh, take a look at what they've done. All right, global, 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 all right. Hey, but I'm not. Hey, one, two, yeah. I don't have any global defenders. Okay, there's a scorpion over there. Hmm. Interesting, oh wait. Okay, let's see. Hmm. We might. Let's see. Uh, let me see who I'm going to bring in. All right, so Ant-Man Future. Gallon can do that fight, but it is a longer fight because the damage will be capped, so you can't just nuke him, but you can do it. Um, I could also use Namor. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember Mysterio. Does he also? Yeah, he does. So, hmm. I might, I might bring Namor. Huh. I've got to think about that, but I'm I I think Namor might be an actual good uh option here. And Corvus for uh that one and for Warlock I could bring Warlock. Actually no, because that Warlock he has armor, so I need someone who's shock immune. So maybe um, Hulkling could do that. Hmm. Or I could try Shuri. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. They did that thing on this node, didn't they? Yeah, immune to shock. All right, so um, Hulkling, Corvus... And I'm thinking Namor. Only issue I have is this future Ant-Man, um, the glancing. I might just use Hulkling on him. Hmm. Hulkling, I hate doing that bringing somebody in for like uh the entire almost the entire uh too many fights rather but hulkling i think can do both of these fights and corvus can do that one so yeah hulkling would be doing like three out of the four on my path and then corvus but it would free me up to bring someone else hmm like, um, I could bring Lady Deathstrike. I have to think about that one. But Hulkling, I'm locking in Hulkling. I'm locking in uh, Corvus. And I'll bring in someone else who um, might be able to give Hulkling a little bit of relief. Um... If I can uh, think of who else I want to bring for some of these fights. Yeah, it won't be Nick Fury, that's for sure. Could be, um, I could bring Scorpion. Scorpion could, uh, yeah. 
Scorpion could do the um, the Warlock fight if I needed him to. Because he could do ruptures and he'll have a shock immunity. Yeah, I might, I might try that out. It's worth a shot. All right, let's get on with the fighting. So we were told that this time we're also going to be going for the win. So nothing relaxed here. Um, but you can see I brought in Hulkling, I brought in Scorpion, and I brought in Corvus. That should be good for everyone uh, that I have on my path, but I was also assigned a fight against Void. More on that later. Anyway, first fight is going to be against Future Ant-Man. He gets crazy armor up, so normally that's a great strategy to put him on this node. Uh, a good counter. Namor, I think, would have been a good counter as well, but I wanted to use Hulkling because um, I think I can use Hulkling in more situations. Namor is sort of a cheese option when they put armor um, defenders that get armor up. Uh, Gallon also. But Hulkling, he can do the fights and he can do other fights besides. So what I want to do is I want to back off and let that armor up go away. Now hit into his block. I got Pierce. All right. So shouldn't have to worry about glancing now. And what I'm trying to do is build up to a special two and get him while I'm unblockable. Okay. But there's a problem besides that. All right. Here we go. There we go. Woo. Woo. Mm. Ah, there we go. Wasn't that nice? Beautiful. Uh, the problem that I was talking about was that I sometimes get power locked, so I have to time it. And down he goes. Nice, smooth, and easy. Hulkling is a beast. Okay? Um, but yeah, because uh, Hulkling is not immune to power lock, I have to be careful. All right? Now, Mysterio... I'm not too worried about Mysterio, okay? Uh, to be honest with you, Hulkling should be able to take him without any difficulty. All right, so here we go. Helmet is active, that's nice. But I don't care. Just build up to a special two. You know, I like it when he does his special two because Hulkling is immune to power drain. So that special two doesn't do anything to me. Oh, caught me when I was coming in. That ticked me off. So you see how I went after him. I'm just like, you know what? Yeah, twitchy, twitchy. Keep twitching. Look at this. Look at this. Keep twitching. Heavy attacks all the time. You know what? I'm just like, whatever. I ain't going to wait for no unblockable because he don't want to play right. So I just went after him. Now I'm holding my block so he don't fire that special one, which annoys me. And I'm just going in. I just said, forget the plan. He ticked me off with that very annoying AI. And I just like, you know what? I'm not going to I'm not going to even worry about it. And you saw how he was, twitchy twitchy, twitchy twitchy. He was not trying to be defensive so I can hit into his block, do nothing. So I was like, "All right, cool. We got you. We got you." Now, this fight here, I'm a little proud of. And you're going to see why in a minute. Now, Normally, how I do these fights with Viv Vision and Corvus, block, uh, I mean, parry, and then just go in. All right? So look at that. She got 17 armor breaks. Look at the damage he's doing. And I usually don't want her to fire my spe her special one because I had a hard time evading it. But look at this. Boom, boom. Boom. Full evade. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Now, that usually wrecks me. And if you watched how I had to fight her before, you saw it was unblockable, right? She would tear me up and the fight would be over with just that one special, unblockable. So what I would normally do is I would block 
hold my block, and try to push it to a special two, which is easy to evade. But after I kept getting wrecked by a special one, I started practicing because it's unblockable. So it's not like I can just, you know, block it and be fine and do the safe thing. No, got to learn how to evade it. So I did. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to get caught by it in the future. But as you can see, I did learn how to evade it. You just got to be patient, especially on that last one. She has to be really facing you. And then you evade. You do it too early, you're going to get clipped. All right, so you see I have uh, a lot of health potions. In the off-season, I just started buying them one, two at a time until I was uh, packed up. All right. Now, I'm not too worried about this. I'm still upset that they did that to Nebula. For you guys that don't know, uh, Nebula wasn't a champion that people use very often. She was a decent champion. And then we discovered that she was really good for this node. And not just this node, but for some other fights. You know, get that shock up, and then bam, and you just took folks out. But, you know, you had to play around uh, a little bit and get it. Apparently, that was too good for Kabam. And so they changed the node and made everybody on the node shock immune. And they, they didn't even play. They did it because of Nebula. And I'm like, so you don't want us to use your champions. We find a way to use a champion in a great way. And we made her useful. And then you made her useless again. Okay. We got you. We understand. So she's back to being not used. And I, and I was mad because I ranked her up to four. And I was using her. I got some good use out of her at least. But still, you know. But I'm like, okay. It's fine. Uh, so anyway, no problem uh, with Warlock. Now. When I got assigned to Void, you guys know I run the Ouchie Masteries, right? Void does more damage when you have debuffs. He puts debuffs on you, but if you come in there with debuffs, he's going to do more damage. So it's not a good idea to go in with your Ouchie Masteries against Void. Because I always have my Ouchie Masteries on, anytime I see a Void, I'm just like, you know what? Nope. Not going to fight him. But... I said, you know what? I'm using Scorpion. So Scorpion is poison immune, right? And he's also, um, he can also uh, gen every once in a while if you're dealing with um, somebody who's gaining uh, regeneration. See, personal space, regeneration. Great. So I'm like, okay. We might be able to do this without having to change out our masteries. And so I'm like, but you know what? Just in case, let's put on a combat regen. You know, just to help out a little bit. All right. So I went in, right? And here we go. But did y'all notice something? Y'all see the poison? Do you see what I did wrong? I'm not poison immune. I look dead at the pre-fight screen and was not poison immune. I did not choose the poison immunity. That's what I was supposed to do. And it would have gone much better, I think. I wouldn't have been taking all that damage and I wouldn't have been so discombobulated because I was like, oh, oh no, I don't believe I did this. Now, fortunately, when I looked going into this fight, we had a, a good lead, okay? But this, I was like, ugh, I don't believe I did that. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna take off my, my ouchie masteries. 
Now, I have been allowed to keep them on even during the placement. And they just are working around that with me. So I'm not using a lot of units every war like I was before they made that foolish change that they did. Okay. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Now, I could have just gone in, chose the proper pre-fight, and we would have been fine. Okay. But I was like, this is kind of a way to punish myself for doing that. Anyway, so I went ahead and, and um, reset. And I'm going to do the fight again without them on. And you will see um, how that goes. Now, I still need to fight decently. Okay. Now, I thought about this because of the personal regeneration. I could have maxed out my despair and I probably should have, but I didn't think I needed to. And what it would have done is cost me even more units because I don't normally run max despair. So what would have happened is I would have maxed out the despair. Then I would have had to reset it again and then do it again and put the uh, ouchie masteries back on. So anyway, now we're going back in properly. But like I said, we have a good lead at this time. So I don't think that loss of AB will be a problem. And I felt like, you know, it was my mistake, my fault. I should be able to handle this, right? And see, look at it. I'm looking at this and I'm just like, this is when I, I realized what I had done. Okay. I was looking at going, oh man, I should have done one of those because he's not by default poison immune. He's by default, I think, shock immune. So you have to select one of those for his poison immunity. You know, I was so mad, I was so mad. But yeah, all of these poisons, we're good, okay? We're good. All right, so here we go. Boom, all right, we're doing well, we're doing well. And I'm just sitting here just kicking myself. I'm like, I don't believe it. Look at that. Oh, and then I just walked into it. And he did as much damage as he possibly could in one five-hit combo. Good night, man. And I'm sitting here going, really? Really? That's how y'all gonna do me? <laughs> anyway, that was my fault. And as you can see, I'm firing specials like crazy. He tried to fire that special, and we were ready for it with our power stings. So we were able to get him down, and we only lost one attack bonus. You can see um, they're going after Sandman there. Whoop! They finished the Sandman and got full AB. So I'm pretty sure at this point that we're going to get it because we have a really good lead. Okay, now this fight, I was like, okay, you know what? This fight should go fun. This should be fun. So I'm going to put back on my ouchie masteries, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to do the Corvus. We're going to have a 200% cosmic power back boost. We're going to boost up the cosmic special damage. And we're going to do a power start one. Now, you guys know how difficult Maestro can be. Mainly because of those glancings. But guess what he can't glance? Special attacks. All right? He cannot glance special attacks. Don't ask me why it threw me out here. I, sometimes it does that and I'm just like, wait, what did I do? Did I just go out by accident? I don't know. Um, and I, I had gone to the... It, it, it's very confusing sometimes because I'm like, I was here. Then I went to Masteries. 
if I go back, I should go back to where I was before I clicked the masteries, but instead it threw me out. Anyway, um, so here we go, using one of the nice 12% um, boosts and 200% cosmic power boost. This is gonna be fun, okay? Now, one thing that I did learn about Maestro is that if you knock him down, uh, he, he, there's a cooldown on him getting those charges or whatever. So what you want to do, if you want to just give yourself a little bit more breathing room, is knock him down. So I'm going to try to bait out his heavy attack in the beginning and then counter with a heavy. All right. So you can see those cosmic charges going up. And you see, he didn't want to throw it. Now he threw it. Bam. Bam. Boom. And I'm like, wait a minute. It's still going up. What's going on? What's happening? What's up? I see a countdown. All right. Okay. Here we go. Now, see, I'm almost at special two. Now, watch this. Boom, boom. Boom. Almost back to a special two. What? Back to a special two again? Boom. Oh, wait. What? What? Again? Boom, boom. Boom. So much fun. Corvus is so much fun. Who said Corvus was done? Corvus ain't done. He ain't done. Y'all just don't know. You better ask somebody. Anyway, that's the final fight for me of this war. A nice fun one. And we'll be back and you will see how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So, so far, we've lost one and we've won one. All right, let's take a look here. Whew. Okay. Shout out to our MVPs. But we got it. Now, let's see if we can keep on winning. All right. But that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.